Hi ladies, happy Friday. Okay, if you have ever felt like every time you turn on TV or you roll through Instagram or YouTube, every celebrity, every style blogger always has this most amazing, ridiculous wardrobe that you can never, ever, ever have, no. I'll let you in on a secret. Really, what a lot of them are doing is just making super tiny tweaks to their existing wardrobe to give it an updated, cool, fresher look. Suddenly, even jeans and a simple t-shirt looks totally next level fresh. Don't worry, I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that. You can take basically any piece from your closet and based on the way that you style it, you can make it completely cool and fresh. So today, I am going to share with you 10 tips to take any basic piece from your closet and make it look cooler, fresher, and definitely chic. Best of all, because it's from your closet, it is easy and it's free. Let's get started with the 10. <laughs> Ladies, this is much more than a channel. We are a community. We are a respite from the outside world where women can just come, connect, engage, and share, and flat out just have fun and enjoy. Join us every Tuesday and Friday for all things style, wellness, beauty, and travel. I would love to have you as a part of our community. Belt it. Especially if you're wearing layers, there's a tendency for it to look very shapeless and kind of meh. Nah. Try a skinny belt around the outer layers to cinch it in, give it more shape, and just give it a fresher, overall cooler look. I also love a skinny belt around a blazer. There's kind of that je ne sais quoi, meaning I'm not sure what it is about it that I like. I just think it looks fresher and cooler. Roll your sleeves with a slappy tuck. Instead of just a big, shapeless, oversized, you know, like meh sweater, you can make the difference by rolling the sleeves up, unbuttoning the last three buttons, and giving it a little sloppy tuck with one side in, bloused a little over, and out. Now all of a sudden, the blouse looks cooler and chicer. A simple, easy trick. Do you have one of those shapeless t-shirt dresses in your closet? Don't get rid of it, cinch it. I love this idea for summer because a lot of us do tend to have those shapeless t-shirty shift dresses in our closet. Instead, here's what you're gonna do. You're going to knot it in the middle to gather up all that extra fabric and transfer form the dress into a much more figure flattering style. You can do this in under two minutes in five basic steps. First, turn the dress inside out. Step two, gather a two inch section in the middle of the dress. Step three, twist the first layer. Step four, tie it into a knot. Step five, flip it to the right side. Voila, there you go. A lot more flattering because not only is it gonna give you more shape around the middle, but the ruching that it creates is also much more slimming. Two good things all around. More shape, more flattering. We like that. Cuff or roll your jeans or pants. This is a subtle style trick that instantly freshens up the same outfit that you've probably worn a million different times. The trick is to use the right technique based on the style of pant that you're wearing. The cuffs on skinny jeans or pants look better on the thinner side. Why? Because it's going to keep the look of the streamlined pant. Make the cuffs on skinny pants no more than half an inch wide and roll it two times. That's going to give you the best, most streamlined look for those thinner pants. When it comes to the slouchier pants or jeans, or better known as the boyfriend jean, it's less about cuffing and it's more about rolling because you wanna keep that very casual slouchy vibe. In these cases, you want the roll to be about an inch wide, then you roll it three times. You don't wanna crease it to cuff it. You just want that cool, relaxed, rolled look. This is gonna give it a much fresher look. Okay, y'all, it is time for three quick shout outs. I would like to give a shout out to my girl, Miss Stephanie Spell, Miss Jody Hakala, and Miss Michelle Williams. Ladies, thank you so much for being a part of our community. I truly appreciate having you here. And if you would like a shout out, subscribe to my channel, comment below, brand new videos every Tuesday and Friday on all things style, wellness, beauty, and travel. And we would love to have you as a part of our community. Scarf, sunnies, and hoops. This is my personal quick go-to to take a basic pullover from meh to head-turning, subtle glam without trying too hard. I did this all around Europe and it was one of the easiest looks ever. I have a cadre of just very basic pullover cashmere sweaters that's really easy for me to wear, but to take it to the next level, all I do is three things. I throw a pretty scarf around my neck, a big pair of sunglasses, and a basic pair of hoop earrings. That's it. Usually I wear my hair back too because I think it gives 
gives it a sleeker look. That is all I do, knot it. With a button down or a floating t-shirt, knotting not only accentuates your shape, it also gives you that one third, two third ratio that is specifically known in fashion and design as the golden ratio. The golden ratio essentially says that when a subject is broken into one third and two third ratios, it is aesthetically more pleasing. The Eiffel Tower is a really good example of this. For a button down, you wanna knot it in the front and place it where it's most comfortable to you. I usually like it a little below the waistband of my pant just to give it kind of that relaxed chic but still shows that I have a shape. Add an ankle boot. One of my favorites also because it's so easy to do and ankle boots by their very nature are much easier to walk in because they give your ankle support. Instead of a typical pump with your dress, add an ankle boot. It looks cooler, it looks fresher, it looks more modern and it gives it enough of an edge without going you know like too far overboard. Same thing with a cropped pant. Another one of my favorite looks. I love a high-waisted cropped pant, a little bit of a wider leg with an ankle boot. Overall, I just like it. <laughs> Add a statement necklace to anything that looks basically kind of casual, like jeans and a t-shirt, jeans and a button-up. Not only does it give it an unexpected twist and make it a little more interesting, it also allows you to get a little more mileage out of some of the things that you may have in your jewelry drawer that you don't necessarily wear all the time. The other thing that I like about this look is that it elevates your look without trying too hard, and I think it also gives you more of a glamorous look, which, don't we all love that? A little gold. Okay, I'm gonna let you in on a secret. If you think I look a little bit glamorous, it is smoke and mirrors, my friend. I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. Oliver and I were, um, we drove up to LA last night because we went to a Laker game, which we love doing sometimes. And we just drove in about an hour ago. I am wearing a $30 sweater that I got off of Amazon. I put on a gold necklace and gold earrings from my jewelry drawer. I put my hair back and I put on some lip gloss. That's it. My point is taking something basic and adding just a little gold or a little silver, or like a simple necklace, a simple pair of hoop earrings can take a look from kind of basic and boring to giving it a little extra polish and a little extra chic. And it's really easy to do. Finally, try a dress over jeans. Wait, before you think it sounds too weird, let me tell you this. I have a simple ivory ribbed knit dress with a slit that I got from Express for like 29 bucks. I don't even know why I bought it. It sat in my closet forever and until I did this. I pulled out a pair of just basic high-waisted jeans. I put the dress over it, a pair of boots, and it looks super cool, you guys. So a dress that honestly probably would have just sat in my closet forever until I gave it away, got a completely new life and elevated jeans that I'm like, meh, I've had these for a million years too, into a completely different look. So y'all, the purpose of this, like with anything that we do here, is you can either copy it directly if you love the idea, or just use it as inspiration and integrate your own taste into it. Go into your closet, pull out a few pieces, look at the tips and think, okay, what can I do with my pieces to give them new fresh life? It's a great way to use what you already have, give it fresh new life, which always makes you feel better, right? Okay, y'all, if you have questions or comments, please share below. If you do not comment, we do not exist. You can never comment too much. I always love hearing from you. It is why I do what I do. And until a couple days from now, I'll see y'all soon. We can Bye. Grab when it's over. Oh, 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 oh,